Well, speaking of our babyface heel argument, Eddie Kingston came out here, and this dude is a hundred percent a heel at this point. Yep, he was he a babyface. He was a babyface on. Tu- he was a baby, hundred percent babyface on Tuesday, and he's a heel on Wednesday. He's screaming at everybody for cheering at cheering for him, and he says, "I'm gonna have to deal with quitting." Unlike you people who would quit and never wrestle again, I'm never gonna stop. I'll become the champion now. I'm a leader of violent men and women. We're going to see Penta and his brother Phoenix beat the shit out of each other. And he goes to the commentary booth, and Penta and Phoenix have this match. And in fact, they beat the shit out of each other. And Tony Schiavone and Excalibur, they're like, Eddie, you can't let this happen. This great tag team is falling apart. And he says, it's great. I love it. And they're tearing each other's mask off, and their package pile driver on the apron. Eddie thinks it's great. And then finally, actually it was after the package pile driver on the apron. Now what he says, oh, I think this might be too much. He's starting to get worried. Penta throws his brother in the ring, hits another package pile driver and pins him. So Eddie gets in the ring afterwards and he mocks the fans for their this is awesome and fight forever chance. Were they doing says, them? No, they weren't. But he said, yeah. where are your, your chances? I, I, I guess they maybe expected that it would happen because it was a pretty awesome match. The... Um Phoenix did two or three things. He did the one thing um, where he jumped on the middle ropes, then jumped over the top ropes onto the middle ropes again, and then what did he do after that? Uh, he did like um, I forgot the move that he did after, like maybe a a, a Rana or something. But it's like it's actually I think it's been I think one person once did it before that I saw, but it's like that was like freaking unbelievable. The Phoenix is so. He's so great. He, he he he. The moves that Phoenix did were really great. I thought that there were some weaknesses in certain parts of the match, but the moves for moves, the the match was phenomenal. So Eddie gets in the ring and he congratulates his best friend Penta, and as he's helping him out, he just kind of kicks Phoenix out of the ring, and he starts explaining to Penta, "You don't need that dead weight. You don't need your brother." And as he's giving him the promo, out comes Pac. And he makes his big return, and the place goes crazy. And Pac grabs the mic and says, You think I'd be gone forever? The bastard is back, and you have made a big mistake. And all the geeks run down to separate him. And basically, Pac is back. He's feuding with Eddie Kingston. They got two separate families, I guess. I guess Pent and Phoenix have to pick sides or whatever. Or maybe Pent is going to go with Kingston, and Phoenix goes with Pac or something. I don't know. But next week, it's Pac versus Blade in his first match back. You never saw a guy so happy to be back, except maybe uh, Osprey. Real Osprey. Osprey may have been number one, but I think Pac might be number two. Well, God, it's been like what he's, he hasn't had a match in probably six months, seven months. Yeah, it's going nuts. And I mean, and and, and talking you know, to himself. You know what I mean? The, yeah, I mean, and the guy. I mean, you got to remember also before AEW, he took what, what it was like a year off or something, where he did almost no wrestling because of the WWE thing. That's right. So it's like he hasn't wrestled, you know, except for he did he did some matches in AEW, but aside from that, he's done very little wrestling in the last three years. So he's probably like just chomping at the bit to to do stuff right now. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got twelve thousand episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, wrestlingobserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.